Hello YouTubers, this is Dragon Master 16 to Oteno coming back at you. This is my second Wi-Fi battle I'm putting on here. I uh, now am battling a guy named Ben on PokemonEpisode.org. The link will be in the description. And as you can see, up top here is my team. And here is his team. So, a little more challenging than the last battle, but hoping it'll be the same outcome. Okay, if you're ready, then we can start right about now. Hope you enjoy it. Obviously, he's playing, uh, he told me he's playing Pokemon Platinum. So, he throws out a Torterra and a Togekiss. I use Swellows' Fly to activate the burn effect, which you have seen in my last video. Made the sunlight stronger, so here I went with the hammer arm because I thought that fighting moves were effective against ground, but since he's also a grass type, I guess it's not very, I guess it's just normal damage. He goes for the Earthquake. My Swallow avoids it because she's flying. And it doesn't affect his side of this because she's flying. Evidently it's super effective on my Metagross. Super effective but it doesn't even do half. Close to half but not really. Okay. My Swallow got the burn from the Flame Orb. And I recall my Metagross because I didn't want it to get messed up. Now I bring my Charizard in because he has the move Shadow Crawl. And it's super effective against Psychic types. But I don't use it. Okay. Fly was super effective against his Torterra. And since she's burnt, it was boosted by 1.5. And I evidently killed his Torterra. His Togekiss uses Water Pulse on my Charizard, probably hoping it would evidently kill my Charizard, but it doesn't even do anything really at all. But he got the confusion, so he lucked out there. The sunlight's strong, so here I should have started using my fire moves, but I didn't do it, I guess. Okay, he sends out is Luxray, which I use Fakade on Luxray. Let's see if I can get it away because I know it has thunder attacks. And it gets them very, very low. So I worked out there. He uses Ancient Power, it's super effective on my Charizard. It doesn't actually kill my Charizard, so I kind of looked out there. My Charizard is confused now, but he doesn't affect them really, and he uses Dragon Claw on the Luxray. I was hoping it would kill him, but you can see he's probably got about 5 HP left. And this will totally murder me. I'm pretty sure right here he wipes out both my Swallow and my Charizard. So that kind of sucks. Hits his toga kiss, but doesn't really do anything. He probably only did it because I had two flying types. So I would actually do that too. So he fainted two of my Pokemon. But here's where the show begins. I send out my trusty Dragonite, and I send out my newly trained Electivire. I just started using Electivire in my last battle, so I was actually in my test battle, and he actually worked out pretty good, so I'm going to use him for now on. Okay, I use Ice Beam on his Togekiss since he's a flying type, and it does a pretty good amount of damage. Then his Togekiss uses Ancient Power on my Dragonite evidently because it's super effective 
but it does about one third of my HP. So I'm still okay. And I just use Ice Punch because I know it's it'll do normal damage to his left train and kill it, so I went ahead and got rid of that. Okay, he throws out his rapid at. My Dragonite uses Ice Beam again on his Toke Kiss because it's super effective. And it kills his Toke Kiss, so he did pretty good doing that. That's actually my first Wi Fi battle I faced a Toke Kiss before, so I know how to face it now. Because Rapid Dash uses Toxic, I hate that. I mean, I would use Toxic at the beginning of the battle, but not close to the end. Cause it's kind of dumb because it won't even work. I use Earthquake on his fire type Rapidash because I know it would be super effective. And since my Electro Bar has got over 300, and I think 70 or 80 attack, and then I have the Expert Belt on him, which increases the power of his super effective moves, and it ultimately murders his Rapidash in one hit. Okay, now since I knocked out both his Pokemon, he sends out his Kaza, which is uh, Alakazam, and his Vaporeon. His Kaza uses Psychic on my Elite Divider. And it does quite a good bit because Alakazam has good special attack. And the Elite Divider has sucky special defense, so. I use Thunder Punch here on his Vaporeon because I know that Thunder, I mean Electric Attacks, work against water. And evidently another one hit KO. So really I can say that Electric Virus is kind of one of my sweepers. I actually have two or three in one of my other teams. And I use Outrage because I know Electric Virus is faster and he could kill Vaporeon and then it would be Dragonite and the only target left would be Alakazam. And as you know, Alakazam doesn't have that good of defense, so his Alakazam is now through. And there you go, I just won my second consecutive Wi-Fi battle online. Uh, well, if you want to battle me, the link will be in the description, search MTJ162010. And that'll be all, so post your comments and subscribe, thank you.